And now the scientific continuation of Fungus is Among Us by Joy Keller, illustrated by Erica Salcido. So last time I read the narrative portions of this book, and this time I'm going to read the little scientific facts that have been hiding on some of these pages. But as I move through the pages, just look and see how many different mushrooms you can find on each page. Here are the parts of a mushroom. It's stalk and gills underneath the cap, and sometimes the cap has little scales growing on it. Fungi aren't plants. They're in a group of their own that includes mushrooms, molds, and yeasts. They range from microscopic single-celled organisms to underground systems spreading across thousands of acres. Scientists are still discovering all the fungi that exist, but the latest estimates point to between 2.2 and 3.8 million species total. Fungi can't make their own food like plants can, so they feed on living or once living matter, like that wood mulch in your garden. And because they can't move to look for a meal, they live directly on their food source. A mushroom is actually the fruit of a fungus. The rest of the fungus grows underground. As long as nothing blocks its growth, the fungus will grow in a circle around its food source. And some species of mushrooms will appear in a circle too. Long ago, people thought mushroom rings were created by fairies, so they're called fairy circles. Lichens aren't just fungi. Lichens are made of algae and fungi, or sometimes cyanobacteria and fungi, living together in a mutualistic relationship, which means they live better together than apart. Algae make food for the fungi to eat. Nobody is really sure what the fungi do in return, but some scientists think they help to protect the algae. Spores are tiny, seed-like cells that grow into fungi. They're spread by wind, water, and even animals. Mold is the fuzzy-looking fungi that grow on decaying material, like that old applesauce in the back of your refrigerator. Mildew is a type of mold that grows in warm, damp places, like the cracks between your shower tiles. Your body is a delicious buffet for many kinds of fungi. Perfectly healthy people have fungi on their skin and in their digestive systems. These fungi cause problems only when their growth gets out of hand, leading to conditions like dandruff. The button mushrooms you get on your pizza are the most common edible mushrooms, but there are many other delicious kinds, shiitakes, portobellos, and oyster mushrooms, to name a few. Did you know the most expensive food in the world is a mushroom? That's right, truffles can sell for thousands of dollars a pound. Yeasts are single-celled fungi. You may not be able to see them, but they're an important ingredient in many of your favorite foods. When yeast is added to bread dough or pizza dough, it makes the dough rise and get bubbly. So the end product is light, fluffy, and delicious. A little bit glare here. Fungi are decomposers that break down and eat dead and decaying material, like falling leaves, rotting wood, and the old food in your compost bin. This process turns that dead stuff into nutrient-rich soil that helps plants grow.
If it weren't for fungi and other decomposers, the world would be covered in dead plants and animals. Just imagine the fall leaves piling up year after year. Fungi have been the planet's custodians for at least 400 million years, possibly longer. Fungi are an important food source for many animals. Mammals, like squirrels and chipmunks, eat mushrooms, as do insects, slugs, and snails. Some species of ants, termites, and beetles even keep their own fungi farms. <laughs> you could look at this page and see how many different kinds of mushrooms you can find. Pause it if you want to do that. And here we have an interview with a mycologist, but you can buy the book if you want to read that. That was Fungus is Among Us, or at least the scientific portions of the book, by Joy Keller and Erica Salcido. And this is EDU Kidspace. Subscribe for more stories, books, and lessons, and check back to continue this theme week all about fungus.